Hey guys, I'm Mad Morta, and in this video I'm going to be showing off the gear shift, which is my entry into Bitbelt's 2018 summer building competition. This is called the gear shift because it was built inside of a Sega Game Gear handheld, and it has the ability to shift from one console to another, being whatever portable you want it to be. So inside of here, there's not a whole lot. There is a 5-inch screen, a wireless PS2 controller, a battery, and a video receiver from a transmitter receiver pair that I got off of Amazon. All this does is it takes video, composite video, from whatever console you want and it wirelessly projects it to the screen. The PS2 controller can be connected to whatever you want. So it can be used as a PS2 controller by itself, it can be used as a little screen portable TV by itself, but ideally it's meant to be used as a portable gaming console. So in the background, I have an original Xbox, which is hooked up to the video transmitter, which when I turn this on, will hook up to the receiver and start sending me the video from the Xbox. There's no noticeable lag, but if you hold it exactly perpendicular to the transmitter, you will get a little bit of interference, which I found right here at a certain angle. So if you see that, I apologize. It's, it's just an angle thing, so. Normally you don't get interference unless you're walking around a whole lot or if the transmitter is pointed in the complete wrong direction or like I said, if the receiver antenna, which is like this, like a pancake on the back, if it's completely perpendicular to the transmitter, it has a harder time picking it up and it'll kind of flicker a little bit and static. So that's basically the cons of it. But the pros are that you can portableize consoles that otherwise can't be portableized like the Xbox. So on here, I'm going to be demoing Burnout 3 Takedown. And I'm gonna try and let you be able to see this as best I can while still being able to see it myself. I apologize for it looking blue. I don't know why it looks blue on the video, but it's not, it's normal colors. I don't know why that is. Maybe I could mess with, I don't know. I'm sorry, it's just gonna look blue to you. Anyway. Ooh, that was pretty bad. Well, you can see that it works really well. There's no noticeable lag, no real interference right now. There's usually not unless you're moving around a whole lot, so that's good. I decided to go with the PS2 controller because it can be used through adapters to work on the original Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, all of the Playstations as far as I know, GameCube, Wii, and probably some others that I don't know about. So it really is as generic as it could possibly be. And I decided to use PS2 buttons instead of Xbox buttons, even though I do intend it to be mostly an Xbox handheld. It I thought that different adapters might have different configurations and you could end up with something weird like where the A button was really the B button or something, so I just kept the PS2 buttons as they are because I thought that it would avoid any confusion with cheap Chinese adapters, so anyway, that's basically the console and I hope that you were able to see that it works well and is pretty cool, so thank you guys for watching.